Hello. Today I'm going to read you a story called The Magic Hat. And in honor of Hat Day, I, if you haven't yet gotten your hat, go get your hat and put it on too while we read The Magic Hat. The Magic Hat. Written by Mem Fox. Illustrated by Trisha Tusa. And here comes the magic hat floating in from the air. One fine day from out of town and without any warning at all, there appeared a magic hat. Oh, the magic hat, the magic hat. It moved like this, it moved like that. It spun through the air and over a road and sat on the head of a warty old toad. Look what it did to that man. First he's a man, now he's a toad. Oh, I think this magic hat can churn people into other things. Oh, the magic hat, the magic hat, it moved like this, it moved like that. It spun through the air like a bounding balloon, and it sat on the head of a hairy baboon. Oh my gosh, it just turned that man into a, into a baboon. Oh, the magic hat, the magic hat, it moved like this, it moved like that. It spun through the air from way over there and sat on the head of a sleepy old, I wonder what it's gonna turn him into, bear. Oh, the magic hat, the magic hat, it moved like this, it moved like that. It spun through the air, it's true, it's true, and sat on a head of a, kangaroo. Oh, the magic hat, the magic hat. It moved like this. It moved like that. It spun through the air for a mile and a half. All the way over there. And sat on the head of a lofty giraffe. And then with a skip and then with a hop. A wizard appeared with a sign that said, stop. Oh my goodness, look how large that wizard is compared to the other people in town. And look how small that hat is. It just barely fits on the wizard's finger. Look at that itty bitty stop sign that shows how large the wizard is. So everyone stopped and stared in surprise at the wonderful wizard with the sparkling eyes, who took from his beard with a nod and a wink and a wand which he waved. And what do you think? What do you think the wizard might do with this wand to all the people? Hmm. The toad, the baboon, the bear, and the roo, and of course the giraffe, and oh, what a to-do, turned back into people, dazed and confused, watched by a crowd that was highly amused. I wonder what is in that red polka dotty egg. Oh my. I see that egg has hatched and out has come like a, a very large chicken. While no one was looking, the wizard meanwhile skipped out of town with a mischievous smile. I wonder what that chicken is there for. And of course on his head was the fabulous hat. So even though the hat's small, he's gonna wear, put it on and we know that changes people into other things. So why don't you take a guess at what 
the wizard might turn into when now he's going to put on that magic hat. I think he's going to turn into an animal. Let's find out. Oh no, he just got a lot smaller. That made all the magic wherever it sat. Hmm, interesting story. What kind of hat did you wear today? I bet it was a special one.